Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Huge, exciting, great day in my kitchen. One of my favorite drinks ever, eggnog. I could literally take like a whole jug of eggnog on Christmas morning and just chug, of course, with Christmas cookies. And my goal is to get my sugar level as high as possible, get the pancreas really kicking in. But, but in any case, uh, a delicious recipe I wanna share with you on eggnog. Uh, you know, you can get store-bought, and that's simple and easy, but nothing really tastes better than homemade eggnog. And there's a lot of ingredients here, but uh, you know, it can look daunting, but it's actually real simple and it's easy and it's fun. And it's a great tradition to set for your family. So let's get into ingredients. Let's have some fun here in the kitchen. Um, so number one, center stage, name on the marquee, we're gonna have some eggs. So in today's recipe, we're gonna use eight egg yolks. Now I know I've got eight eggs here, but we're going to separate those and we only want the yolks. That's your fat, that's your flavor, that's your color, mm, that's your deliciousness. And now because there's not enough fat in the eggs, we need to add more fat in both quantity of milk and cream. So we're going to add three cups of whole milk. Now I'm a big fan of the grass-fed organic certified milk. It tastes so much better. A lot of times when you look at Italy, you're like, wow, the food tastes so good there. Because in general, most of the cows and the chickens and such, they're grass fed, they're free range. So they're gonna give you a, a much better flavor. So I, again, I've got three cups of whole milk and I've got three cups of heavy whipping cream. Now we wanna add all those delicious flavors of holiday, of Christmas, of New Year's. So we're gonna add one teaspoon of cinnamon I, and I smell that gently because, you know, it's one of those things when you're a kid, it's like vanilla, you know, you think, wow, this is gonna taste so good. You put it in your mouth, you're like, oh, it's good with sugar, not good without sugar. But I've got one teaspoon of cinnamon. Next, we've got our center stage. Anybody that watches our show on a regular basis knows I love nutmeg. Nutmeg uh, actually came from India and it came in through the southern portion of Italy and, and worked its way up north. So it was commonly used with cream. So when you talk about cannolis, when you talk about ricotta cheese, when you talk about cheeses and cream, boy, I'll tell you, nutmeg is great. And a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. So we're gonna use a half of a teaspoon, if you can, of fresh ground. Next, we're gonna use a quarter teaspoon of clove. Oh, clove is just, it's deep, it's sweet, it's rich, earthy, so delicious. Next, I've got two teaspoons of vanilla. Oh, vanilla taste again, tastes great, unless you had sugar, not so great. Now we wanna sweeten this up, right? So we gotta add some sugar. So we're gonna add one and a half cups of granulated sugar. We're gonna add a pinch of salt. And I know it sounds crazy, but salt actually brings out flavor. Remember, salt enhances. So with salt, a pinch now, you're gonna actually make it a little sweeter. You're gonna bring out those flavors of all those spices just a little bit deeper. I've got my nutmeg here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of nutmeg to the top. So I wanna keep that for a garnish. And I'm gonna use a couple of almonds, which great with this, which we would do in our family is we would use almonds, you could use walnuts, hazelnuts are great, and you're gonna use that to finish or garnish the top of the sauce. Now I want that whipped cream topping, so I'm gonna use one cup again, because we need to add a little bit more fat, uh, one cup of heavy whipping cream. We're gonna use one tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla, and we're gonna add, and I know this is just awesome, it's a secret ingredient I learned many, many years ago, and I have it on my Italian whipping cream uh, video. We're gonna add one heaping teaspoon of mascarpone cheese. Oh, last, we're gonna need some olive oil. Actually, no olive oil goes in this recipe, but if it did, I know you would want to add the best quality olive oil. Where could I get something grassy, earthy, peppery, from Italy? Mmm extra virgin, where could I, Vito and Joe's, there you go. So for anyone new to our channel, I own a farm in Italy, and we co-op with a group of farms to bring you some of the best, most delicious, extra virgin Italian olive oil you'll ever have. Uh, you can hit the link right above in the description, you can go to my Facebook page, you can go to my webpage, Cooking Italian with Joe, just click buy it now. We'd love to drop ship you a bottle right to your front doorstep. Uh, I like to call it a trip to Italy right in a bottle. Okay guys, what do you say we get going? So I need a big pot, 
And I use a big pot because I don't want to splash all the ingredients. And I'm going to meet you guys right here at the stove. So I got my heavy saucepan. We're going to go really low heat. First, I'm going to add my cream. Next, I'm going to add my milk. Pinch of salt, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon of clove, teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla. Now on our sugar, I'm gonna split this. I want three quarters of a cup of sugar here and then three quarters of a cup I'm gonna mix with my eggs. Now guys, give it a nice gentle stir and everything won't mix perfectly yet until it starts to warm up. Next guys, we gotta do our egg yolks. I've got my three dishes here. I'm gonna white it, yolk it, trash. So quick tip guys, one, I'm always gonna tap my egg on the side. That way I'm not pushing my shell in if I hit it on the edge. Secondly, I always wanna do it in a clear dish. That way if I get any shell inside the egg, I can always pull it out. I can see it and I can pull it out. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna hit the side of the egg. I'm gonna go off to the side here. I got a beautiful yolk right there put that in my dish, and then throw it in my trash. Eggs were done, they went by really easy because I got Frank Sinatra Pandora plan. Egg whites, you're gonna use them for another dish, no problem, make an egg white omelet, you can make some meringue. Now I wanna cream my egg yolks. Now, a quick comment on egg yolks, some people are concerned about eating a raw egg, so if you are, what I recommend you do is just like a Zambione, you're gonna take your sugar and your egg yolk mixture, you're gonna put it in a double boiler, and with a whisk, you're just gonna mix it until it gets frothy and creamy right over the double boiler. That way you'll heat up the eggs and take care of any bacteria you may be concerned about. In this case, I'm gonna use my egg yolks and my sugar and we're gonna cream them for about five minutes. So real simple, I'm taking my eight egg yolks, the three quarters of a cup of sugar that I held back. In my Kitchen Aid here, I'm just gonna put it on a slow mix to get it started. And this will go about five to 10 minutes until they're creamy. You're gonna see they're gonna be yellow, fluffy, real creamy, delicious. Guys, while my eggs are creaming, while my milk and cream mixture are heating up, let's talk alcohol for a minute. So this recipe is delicious whether you add alcohol or not. So sometimes people, because of preferences, personal preferences or religious reasons, don't want to add alcohol. So if you don't want to or can't, the final product will be absolutely delicious. If you want to add alcohol for an adult party, by all means, brandy is the traditional alcohol you're going to add. In quantity, we're going to add about a half of a cup. For some people, that might be a little bit too much of a of a kick, and I appreciate that. So start with maybe a quarter cup and then increase it after you taste it. Another little trick you can do, which is always delicious and we like to do in our family, we like to add a liqueur, in this case like a Di Serrano, which is, uh, which is an almond liqueur. So you don't even need to add the brandy, you can add a really low alcohol content, it'll give it a little bit of an almond flavor, or you can add both, you can add a little bit of the brandy and a little bit of the almond liqueur. Our egg yolk mixture is done. Now, a couple of tips here to make this come out absolutely delicious. Number one, we're gonna need to temper the eggs. So we've got our hot milk and cream with spiced up mixture. We're gonna add a little bit of that here to the egg to bring them up to temperature. Why is that important? Because if you add something hot to the egg yolk mixture, it'll actually curdle uh, as they say, you'll start to develop like scrambled eggs, which we don't wanna do that. We don't wanna denature those proteins. If you do it nice and slow, just over a matter of a minute or two, the egg protein won't curdle and you'll come up with something smooth and silky, which is gonna be our eggnog, okay? Number two, what makes this come out great is not only Frank Sinatra, but you gotta to subscribe to our channel. So when you hit that red button down there in the corner and don't forget to hit that bell, that's a notification bell. So anytime you come out with a new recipe, uh, a trip to Italy, uh, I do a food blog, blogging with Boreal. That'll come right to your notification box. And as I always tell everyone, it really means a lot to me when you subscribe to our channel and hey, makes you part of the family. You know what I'm saying? In regards to the olive oil, I'm sure you already bought a bottle, so I don't even need to plug that anymore. All right, so come on in. Let me show you what I'm doing in here. Our milk and cream and spice mixture here is really hot. I don't want to boil it. I want to bring it right up to where it starts to almost bubble, which is going to be about 160, maybe 170 degrees. That'll be perfect and I'm gonna bring this right over to the mixer. Now, do you see how beautiful and creamy our egg yolk mixture is with the sugar? So I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit on a low. Now I'm gonna take a ladle of my hot milk and cream mixture. I'm gonna add just a slight drizzle, maybe like a couple of tablespoons at a time. I like to do a good two or three ladles to get that mixture right up to temp. Now with three ladles of hot milk mixture, I'm gonna bring this over to the stove. And now I'm gonna take my heated egg mixture, egg yolk mixture, I'm gonna add that right to the cream and milk. Give it a gentle stir as you're mixing the wet ingredient here. I've got it on a really low heat and I'm gonna leave it on a low heat here for about five to 10 minutes. I want all those flavors to marry and mix. Now while my eggnog is doing that final warming about five to 10 minutes, let's make that whipped cream topping. 
I've got one cup of heavy cream, one tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, heaping teaspoon of mascarpone cheese. Oh, that's gonna be good. We're gonna give this a gentle whip. We're going for soft peak. While the whipped cream is whipping, this is done. I'm turning the heat off. Oh, I mean, talk about, it smells like, uh, like the aroma of Christmas, right? Or, or New Year's, it's absolutely delicious. Now I wanna bring this down to temp. So I'm gonna pull it off the heat. I'm gonna throw it right in the refrigerator for at least two, maybe three hours. That way, again, all those flavors will marry and we wanna make it nice and cool to make a nice cool holiday drink. Mmm. Soft Peaks whipped cream is delicious. Mmm. I have mascarpone cheese. I tell you, that's a trick. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator for the next couple hours while the eggnog is cooling down and then it's time to drink some holiday cheer. Guys, it's been a couple hours, my favorite time. First off, the aroma in here. Oh, mm. With the whipped cream, I'm ready to go. They got a great mug. This is just a beautiful Mackenzie Child. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this guy up. It's like Christmas in a ladle. Next, I'm gonna fill that top up with whipped cream. Next, I'm gonna take my nutmeg and I'm just gonna give it a couple of hits on the top here. And then I'm gonna grab an almond. Like I said, an almond or a walnut, same thing. Just hit it with a little something on top. How good does that look? Guys, my favorite part. Mm, you can right away hit that nutmeg and the almond flavor and the cream. This is good. Guys, that is Christmas, holiday, New Year's, essentially the month of December in a mug. <laughs> that is awesome. Now I'm gonna go on the hunt for Christmas cookies. <laughs> And this is going to be a good afternoon. Guys, thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today for a great, fun recipe. Remember to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. Make you part of the family. Remember to hit our web page, Cooking Italian Joe, or our Facebook page. Or just hit the link above. Grab yourself a bottle of Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Certainly your trip to Italy right in a bottle. And guys, one of my most important tips always. Remember once a week, a couple times a month. Remember to shut off the TV, the computer, get rid of the cell phones, get around the table for a few hours, spend some time with your mom, your dad, your uncles, your great uncles, if you still got them, God bless you, and your grandparents. And remember to set some traditions and celebrate your heritage. It'll last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito.